Logic Zero example 28.1, more than one way. This is part of uh, chapter 28, which is proofs using any or all rules. So this is where we get to bring the rules of inference and the rules of equivalence all into the game. And I'm not giving you much guidance on which rules to use. So this is a little more challenging and, you know, things are coming together. Uh, we just have a few more things to learn regarding proofs and then, you know, we'll know proofs. But uh, this is kind of upping our game in this chapter, <clears throat> getting close to some pretty proficient use of proofs. So in this example, uh, we have this, this problem. So we bring down our conclusion. This is what we're looking to get. And then let's start with line three. And let's just think about what we can do. So one, one thing uh, that I want to encourage you to do at this stage of the game is to simply try to see what you can do, what the rules will allow you to do try out a certain approach, see if it works. If it works, okay, we're good. And then see if maybe you can uh, make the proof shorter or perhaps do it in a more elegant way. But uh, but let's, let's uh, think about, well, what can we do? Let's go to line one. What can we apply there? Uh, we can apply implication. So, we can do not A or not B. That comes right from line one from the rule of implication. And let's see, we can, we can do uh, not B or not A from line three by commutativity of disjunction. And then we see that we're getting a, a, a disjunctive syllogism shaping up here. Uh, but in line five, we need uh, not not be just to get the form to be correct for disjunctive syllogism. And so that comes from line two by double negation. And then in line six, we can do not A, which is what we're, what we're seeking. Okay, and we can do that by disjunctive syllogism. So if we, uh, if we bracket this left-hand side of the disjunction in, in line four, we see that we have the negation of that in line five. And so we have this second disjunct that then comes across in line six uh, by lines four and five using disjunctive syllogism. And we are done with the proof. And of course, we want to, uh, you know, th these brackets are just for discussion here. Uh, the actual answer string should be uh, created from, from this. However, we, we could have taken this in another direction. So I'm going to copy this so that we have uh, basically the original problem again and then oh and up here i should have put a semicolon there okay so that semicolon needs to be there otherwise we're going to get marked incorrect but uh okay so it should look like this uh well knowing what what we did in the in the previous version of the proof uh, we could construct the proof differently, and maybe this is a little more explanatory. Uh, now that we know where things are going, we can 
do uh, double negation here and then do implication, do not A or not B from line one, implication. And then we still need to do uh, commutativity from line four. And then with six, we can do not, not A from lines three and five by the disjunctive syllogism. And notice that this proof takes six lines or four steps and the previous version of the proof also took six lines or four steps. So both of these proofs are just as good. They're adequate. They, they prove uh, the argument involved here. Uh, and they take the same amount of steps. So they are both just as good.